Today I'm taking a look at this digital night vision monocular I got a few months ago. This is the model I purchased, but there are like a dozen that are basically the same available on Amazon. Let's take a look at it. So, it just came in today. Night vision monocular. Gonna do unboxing. Oh, that's nice. I saw in some of the other reviews this case, but I was unaware that it came with the case. I thought that was something else people bought. So that alone's really nice that this is like a good, this is a hard plastic, like textured case. That's pretty nice. Oh, I see down here. So here is, it does come with an SD card as well as the instructions. I believe that's a 32 gig it said it would come with. So it comes with a charging, which I will find out, but I'm not sure if you need to use rechargeable batteries just to use this, or can you plug this in to say a mobile battery, like for the phone, and can you charge it and like supply power just with that? Do you not even need batteries in it at all, maybe? I will find out. Okay, so uh, very plastic feeling. Honestly, it feels about what I was expecting. Not super high end, but it doesn't feel super cheap either. Power mode menu picture. I are up and down, and then I just hold a zoom. Nice grip. I was really excited about that, of just the sight picture it advertised. Because some of the other ones I've looked at, the focal point is a little hit or miss and all over the place. It's a little tough to get off. Okay, that's where it takes the five double A batteries. Tripod mount. Alright, let's get some batteries in there. Okay, so it has on the other end, right there's the port where the SD card and the USB would go. It still does not have batteries placed in. I did want to see firsthand. Here is a charger, but it's also on its own a battery bank. So I am right now going to see can this be powered just by a battery bank alone without having rechargeable batteries in it first or something. Difficult to get to. Okay. Moment of truth. Oh, you can. So yes, the battery compartment is empty. And it's being... Pa oh, okay, mate. That might be a problem. Can I use it? Or is it being red? Mode. Uh, okay, 
Yeah, I can't actually, I can't actually see through it. So, yeah, it's reading that. It's reading that as something to transfer. Okay. Well, worth a shot. Oh, it also powered back. Uh, yeah, I thought it worked there for a second. Yeah, okay, so it's kind of feeding power, but that is not what this is intended for. That is obviously intended to transfer files, not actually for charging. Because it immediately jumps to that transition of loading a file. Alright, let's right now put some batteries in. Unfortunately, at the moment, I only have some cheap batteries, like, from a dollar store that are good, like, for... TV remote, so I'm going to see how does it function with those. Alright, batteries are in. It has some decent weight now, but I guess what you need is back. Five batteries are in it now. Holding power. No card. Okay. That, uh does not look good right now. Let me focus that. Okay, that does look rather annoying. Looks like this requires a lot of focusing. It does look like it has color right now. Picture mode, video mode. A lot of settings. I'm looking through the menu. So it has two resolutions. It's on that by default. It's like Okay, so I'm a bit more hands-on rather than reading the instructions. So I played around just now and looked at some stuff. So when you press up, it then switches to black and white. Can't really tell at this angle. And you see the light bulb come on indicating you have the IR. And then as you continue to press that button, that number goes up. And that's telling you that the brightness is going up. And now you can see that's on. Which, just by turning it to the maximum brightness, I got it, the screen pulsed, saying low battery, and it dropped down. So, at least on cheap batteries, like what I'm using here, the IR illuminator is killing it very fast. And then, if you hold this rather than just tap it you can then see on the side it is then zooming so it's only digital but it does zoom and then that's the capture button obviously but i didn't put the sd card in it yet So far, all in all, I'd say looks pretty good for the price.
So here it is set on an actual tripod. And here it is, just its perspective. Pretty good, actually. Granted, it's not total darkness, but still, it's seen much better than an actual phone camera would see. It's a bit of a zoomed view. It sees not bad. Captures a lot of ambient light compared to a phone. Now, let's actually turn on the IR. Now it suddenly jumps and it's seen more in black and white. There's not much to see, but over this lake, there's, it's seen everything perfect. It immediately jumps to one third of the battery. See the front of it. The IR illuminator is now clearly on. Let's see, now that it's on, will it actually pick up the IR illuminator? Because previously it didn't seem to pick it up. Yeah, it can seem to affect it. I can make something blur. Or when I look down at the ground, it's already seen as if it sees a light. So when you don't have the IR on and there's no light bulb, it doesn't seem to respond to an IR illuminator. When it's on though, it does. So now I'm turning it back to regular. See the light bulb disappeared. Now it's just at its standard view again. Now when I point an IR illuminator at that tree, you're not seeing much of a difference. If I point it down at the ground again, huh. as far as showing up on camera, it's hard to see, but there's a small difference of when the IR illuminator passes the exact spot it's touching you can notice it slightly. Overall, it's not really picking up an IR illuminator at all when it's in the night mode. If I happen to touch the right spot for a split second, it gets brighter, but it really doesn't notice it. Then when I turn it on, and you see the light bulb, and it switches to black and white, Then when I shine the IR illuminator in the right spot, it pits it up briefly, but at least with this one in particular, it's not really any stronger than the IR illuminator already built into this, which is pretty good. Again, I'm not really looking at anything in pitch blackness, but this is working really good. But, also again, I already lost a third of the battery just by powering on the IR illuminator. I have not yet tested how long I'll actually get out of one battery length of this. But it seems to die really fast with, I'm using a generic brand battery, where it was like $3 for a 20 pack. So if you're using a battery at that price, and you won't get long. Well, that there concludes my review. This handheld night vision thing is actually pretty damn cool. It works really good. This particular one, I believe, was $85, but there are cheaper ones, and they all generally seem to be the same product 
with slightly different dimensions. If you were on the fence of buying one of these, it is worth it. It's pretty cool.